Welcome back everyone. I've created a series of videos using Adobe Spark for different ideas for small businesses that can't afford professional service from graphic designers and ad agencies. A friend of mine is starting to create greeting cards for her business. I thought this would be a significant starting point if she wanted to go this route. Or for those who have forgotten to go to the store and pick up a birthday card. Or worse, an anniversary card. Using Adobe Spark can help you get out of a jam. In today's video, we will create a greeting card. Typically, the cards that you get in the store will have four sides. The cards you would design will only have two sides, a front and a back. I kind of like it that way, as it means less paper or card stuff is consumed or wasted. Let's log in, and I will log into one of my accounts on Adobe Spark to show you what I see with the free version. After log in, you should see your welcome screen here, or quite possibly a select a size screen. Either screen will work. Let's look at the select a size screen. I'm not 100% sure if you need to print this out, so we will select the print size and pick a size. I'm going to pick the card size and click on next. While Adobe Spark is loading all the different greeting cards, what it does, it creates a project under a section called My Post. I should point out here that there are over 29,000 templates in the search field. So if I want to enter the word happy birthday as an example, you may see an orange banner on the models. These are called premium templates, which means you need to upgrade Adobe Spark to use these. Granted, we can probably create most of these on our own. If you'd like to use a template, select one on the right hand side. Scroll down until you find one that works for you. Select it, and what happens next, a pop up window will open. Click on create to grab this new template. The template will resize to the size of your project and it will load in a few seconds. You can easily change the text, icons, and colors. In this example, I'll be starting from scratch, which means I have a blank page. I will try to create a birthday card that was a premium template to show you how easy it is to use Adobe Spark. To change the white background to a color background, click on the white page once. You will know if you have it selected, as will give you an extended border, as shown. Click on color on the right hand side. I'm going to choose a lavender background. I can change this later if I want. In the next step, I want to add some text to the card. On the right hand side, there is a plus sign. Click on this to add, and then select text. Click on the button, add your text at the top of the page. Enter your text and click done or shift return. If you made a mistake, double click on the text to make your changes, and click on done. Move the text. Please make sure the text box is selected as shown, and move it where you want it. For some strange reason, I have this weird effect or shape on. Let's remove that. Let's change the font. Click on type again, and select a new font. I will choose the biggest font. To make it bigger, I change the size by taking one of the corners here to resize it, or change the size in the dialog box. You are more than welcome to change the alignment. Next up, I'm going to add another set of text that the premium template had. This was the most sandalous card I could find. I will repeat the same step as above, click on the add plus symbol, and select text. Select add your text from scratch, and type in my content. When ready, click on done. I change the letter spacing, the line spacing, and opacity. In the end, I think I will leave it what I had before. I think my second text box is not entering the page. To make sure, I'm going to select both text boxes and make sure the second text box is centered. Select the first text box and hold down the shift key to add to your selection. Once you do that, you should see the align dialog box. Click on the second icon on the top row. This is center horizontally. To deselect, click anywhere off the items that were selected. I tend to pick outside of the project area. Next up, let's add some icons. The icons will be clip art. If you are okay with that, let's proceed. Click on the add plus symbol again and select icon. You can enter anything, sparkle, hearts, or balloons in the search field. I will pick sparkles. In the center of the spark at the bottom is an arrow pointed to the left. This tells me I can rotate my item. Let's do that to show you what I mean. Again, to resize an item, take any corner and resize it. Color? Well, the color I have is not nice looking. On the right hand side, you have color. So I'm going to change this to maybe pink and change the capacity too. To duplicate the sparkle, click on the icon beside the trash icon, the plus in the box. This will make a duplicate copy of whatever you have selected. I'm going to make a few more copies and scatter them around the card. If you have noticed, I'd place a spark on top of the word happy. I'm not too fond of this look, so I'm going to change the layer. So I will move the happy layer to the top layer by sliding the order to the right. For some reason, the icons are not the right colors. So let's change the type to be white. Let's say we are now done with this card. 
click on download and you can download the card as a PDF so they can print it on your printer. Or if you plan to send an e-card, you can personalize it by adding the name to the card and download either JPEG or PNG and email it. If you want to share it with everybody, click on share and pick Facebook or Twitter or any other medium. And the most important thing here, there isn't a Spark watermark. Thanks for watching everyone. Have fun making those radical greeting cards. Thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time.